the truth about dreams <laughs> there is no truth it is all humbug because the world followed sigmund freud the founder of psychoanalysis he said interpretation of dreams and when someone dreamt about a snake he converted that into the sex organ of the man that means the person who has dreamt wanted sex but the same in india if somebody has uh, dreamt about a snake then they take them to the nearest temple and do a puja if there is a, that's how the snake temples came up in india so that we protect the snakes what is true there is like what the politicians and the rulers were doing for time immemorial yes trying to give dreams to the people so that people live in the dreams and india the biggest dream was it's your karma it's your karma the next janma the next life will be much better and people got stuck up if there were no priest or the temples or churches or masjid the poor could have burned the rich alive such was the pain the dreams and our former president abdul kalam kept on talking about the dreams he was been used and people were thinking he's telling a fantastic thing but the dreams are not the truth the dreams is asking you to dream because they have dislocated and destroyed the family structure by dragging you into the cities in the name of industrial revolution to make you a little bit of money by showing you a huge amount of powerful bright lights like the flies get attracted you got attracted and when you came to the city they have not created anything for you except torture no water no electricity in proper time drainage is blocked then they give policemen to beat you up to threaten you the political leaders to um, harass you and the government officials to take bribe for anything and everything you came running with a big dream in the city and the dream is lost totally lost and for that your family you lost your family you lost your love and when you lost your love you lost your joy family and the family tree total destruction and then they bring in abdul kalam to talk about dream a dream <laughs> only you will succeed without the dream only you are with the family and every every path opens and that path is the truth you are given a beautiful school in rakum school a beautiful uniform three sets of uniform given free of cost and the government's are given shoes and socks slippers bed sheets three want to use want to wash want to dry on that concept everything is given three beds pillow pillow cover soaps brush paste lights water 24 hours lights 24 hours doctors a hospital service next door with a doctor and the nurse come to the school school area is beautiful classrooms are cleaned by the housekeepers teachers come well prepared classes are non stop running the pd master takes the classes physical exercise and other people take yoga karate music dance your food is given breakfast given your lunch is given transport buses for the day scholars to drop you and bring you back transport department has been checked app easy school app is given now you do not have to dream the only one thing you have to do is the campus what is given if you can see the campus and you can just pick up the dirt you can see the classrooms cleaned by the housekeepers you can keep it exactly like that yes if you know that much what is given 
you keep it beautifully and you understand once you know that you understand the value oh once you understand the value the world understands your value once the world understands your value when you walk anywhere you can see it, respect flows respect is abundant yes abundant sometimes it is in excess that's why they say give respect and take respect now you cannot even take respect because you have excess so you keep on giving more respect because you are with the family you are seen the family and the joint family the family is so powerfully you are ingrained with what like a karma you keep doing work that expecting any results in that respect you can see your love flows abundance of love if you have that much of love love move mountains and oceans this is a 40th story from the zen bones zen flesh zen bones written paul rips in dreamland our school master used to take a nap every afternoon related a disciple of so in shaku we children asked him why he did it and he told us i go to dreamland to meet the old sages just as confucius did when confucius slept he would dream of ancient sages and later tell his followers about them it was extremely hot one day so some of us took a nap our schoolmaster scolded us we went to dreamland to meet the ancient sages the same as confucius did we explained what was the message from those sages our schoolmaster demanded one of us replied we went to dreamland and met the sages and asked them if our schoolmaster came there every afternoon but they said they had never seen any such fellow lions don't doze sleep over the opinions of the sheep A joke never in my wildest dreams did i think i could have all this by age 35 six figure passive income an empty calendar my forever home paid off vacation home in maui to tesla's s and x living nanny to help us with kids and yep i was right i don't have any of that <laughs> what do you call a fake speed runner dream why did the silly girl put sugar under her pillow she wanted to have a sweet dream <laughs>